Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? Whew. All right. Okay. Um, I really feel like I am being punished. I really feel like I'm being punished right now. I uh, started a video and it just cut off after 30 seconds. Okay, you all are tight. You guys are exhausted. I have used the shit out of you this last month. So I'm gonna give you a break because Obvi, you are not in the mood. <whistles> and so, then I get this back up and the cards want to mix up their orientation in the shuffle. So we are going to hello everyone. Ah, nice to see you. Nice to have you back. Thank you for coming. And I think I will give you all a rest as well. Oh, the aesthetic is so similar, but you know what? We're doing it anyway. Doing it anyway. sure that everyone's out with your beautiful selves oh, every time I touch this deck just makes my whole heart happy okay Hello, hello, and how are you? All right. So, let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. We've got two fresh new decks. Gonna take us from full moon to full moon. So, let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what, shall we? Do let's. Here we go. You and you. Hmm. King of Swords with the Three of Swords, hashtag deal with it. Page of Cups with the Magician and the Lovers. Oh, oh. So I try my best and pray to God to send me someone real. Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. There we go. Two of Wands and Ten of Cups. All right, so the fact of the matter is there's been some pain. Oh, the interruptions.
the fact of the matter is there has been we we have reached an impasse okay this is where we are um, the truth is yes you've had a heartbreak you're not the first you won't be the last what are you gonna do about it now what you gonna shut it all off are we gonna go and are we are we what what's happening here so you decide you know what yeah I know that this happened I know that this this relationship is dunsies nothing else we can do about that so I'm going to take this little bit of emotion that I have left and I am going to alchemize it with the magician and I'm going to find things to love about me. And when I find things to love about me, then that same love and gratitude and appreciation will be spread throughout the world around me. But I've got to learn how to love myself first. With that loving self first um, and creating that, that environment of gratitude and and um, willingness to find wonder in things starts to manifest in your tangible resources with the ace of pentacles right and it starts to grow and point and, and put you in a position where you actually have to make a move away from something else like there's you got to make a move away from something else after all of this learning getting the new opportunity balancing that opportunity and now you've reached that point where it's time for you to move forward um, and you're looking for long-term happiness king of swords again wheel of fortune the devil mm, yeah queen of pentacles eight of pentacles and nine of swords all right so yes you're looking for long-term happiness and you you're thinking more and speaking less thinking more speaking less thinking a lot more um oh okay and so with this wheel of fortune devil energy right behind the king of swords it can become really easy and it's become really easy to like slide into this you you can you can be real short and sharp with what comes flying out of your mouth yeah um, and also these thoughts because you're thinking more and you have so much to ponder um, can very easily slide into overthinking to the point of obsession especially when it comes to navigating out of the three of swords right um, because what you're focusing on is your money queen of pentacles eight of pentacles more money more problems and I'm hearing I'll take it the thing is you don't have to yes you're going to be thinking about this stuff a lot but it does not have to consume you even in your quest to build up your net worth to a level with which you're comfortable setting goals and reaching goals setting goals and smashing goals like once you you're you're getting even with all of those thoughts they do not have to consume you but they can it's real easy to slip into that really easy um, page of swords because we're learning new things seven of swords we keep a lot of those things to ourselves page of wands 
you're illuminating your own path. Um, you've got the tower. There's a big, big change. Huge change. Uh, two of Cups, brand new emotional content. Hell yeah. And the Seven of Cups, options, options, options. You're doing what you want. And you're looking to see how deep some of these rabbit holes go. You've got your seven and your sevens here. Um, there's some, there may be some sleight of hand that comes in with this. Um, also, because you have this new passion, there's there are learning curves involved. Not everything is going to be straightforward. Uh, probably nothing's going to be straightforward, Jesus. Um, but this this new way of thinking and this new way of doing um, leads to a brand new way of life uh, with this tower you are laying some things to waste permanently laying them to waste to make room for something brand spanking new but there are going to be plenty of choices you are not you're not going to be spoiled for choice that's for sure so take care not to take the first thing that is offered to you. Everything is up for negotiation, especially with this newness here and things not being as they seem with that seven of swords. Um, I'm also hearing um, things are not as they are presented to you either. You've got to read between the lines when people are talking to you. Got to read between the lines. Six of Swords, Page of Cups, Five of Cups, the Moon, Death, and the Hermit. Things are not what they seem. Hashtag, like I said, they're not. Like, the Six of Swords is the card of like moving to calmer waters, right? But it looks like escaping into the night. Because you are. You are getting out of a situation that was tumultuous at best. Yeah? And so in order to get away from that, you've got to be able to move Where's that seven of wands, seven of swords? You got to be able to move under, under the comfort of the night. Page of cups and five of cups. You don't want to lose the little bit of love you have left. even though this loneliness hurts like no other hurts real bad okay but you're not you're still hanging on to and and protecting this tiny bit here um this is this is that little shred that shred of decency that keeps you from going over the deep end yeah and then you've got the moon death and the hermit secrets newness secrets it's like people don't need to know what you're doing to work on you but they will recognize that you are not the same person that you were once you come out of this energy it's like a whole rebirth four cups and this rebirth is long okay you're the one going through it it's long af 
and there are times when you are just 100% sick of this shit. When the heck do I get to unfurl my wings and start tasting flowers? When? Because this hard shell goo stuff is for the birds. Actually, it's for the butterflies, but it sucks. Okay, thank you for the protection. I appreciate it, but can we ever have just like a salad? Five of swords, 10 of swords. Oh yeah, king of cups, the chariot, and the eight of wands. All right, so can we ever have just like a salad? You can get this word salad with the five of swords and, and then you can deal with the aftermath of this word salad with the ten of swords. Like it, it's going to get worse before it gets better. However, comma, the knight of cups, the chariot and the eight of wands, you're going to get word that not only is it going to get better, but that it's going to be better than what you originally asked for. way better but this this four of cups and the three of cup no the three of swords the four of cups and like the five of cups energy all of this discontent and an irritability and the discontent and the irritability um they're going to be stirred up a lot right um it, it, with where the moon is right now and what she's doing emotions are on like 15. so remember that um, while you are being tossed to and fro um, by your heartstrings, okay? But also know that there is improvement in your immediate vicinity. Eight of Cups may require you to get up and go. Strength may require you to, to hold your strength. Not hold your strength, but hold your place. Tow your line. Magneto that shit. The Queen of Swords you're going to let the truth, you're, you're going to let the truth lead you. Nine of Cups, and you're going to be perfectly fine with that. Perfectly fine with that. Justice, Spirit, and the Star. I told you it was going to get better. I told you. No, you can wait until I'm done. You may have to step up and walk away from something. May have to walk away from a conversation. May have to walk away from an argument. May have to walk away from a family. You, 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 you know what? You choose your adventure. Literally with the Eight of Cups, choose your adventure. But there's something that you put a lot of energy into that um, you do have to distance yourself from. And it's, it's going to be, it's going to require you to really dig deep into who you are and also into who you're becoming with the strength also followed up by the queen of swords like there's mm, there, you're not going to be able to run in the, you're not going to be able to run in the same circles that you used to because your your whole your whole energy has been redirected and so there's there's some, yeah, your whole energy has been redirected. 
Um, so there, and a lot of people aren't going to get where you're coming from. You are finally focusing on making your heart happy with the Nine of Cups. Finally. And this is not, you know, the whole forget the world, I'm just going to do what I want type energy. That's not it. This is like literally aligning your heart with the heart of spirit and you actually wanting what spirit wants for you. And when that is vapor locked, baby, when those two become in lockstep with one another and that co-creation starts happening, it's, it's, it's completely different. It's completely different. You own what belongs to you with justice and let everything else get sorted out by the one who is greater than you. You all right with that. Because when you do take the time to own your stuff, you actually get lifted up. You, you ascend. You move up to higher ranks in your purpose. You finally get to move forward. Finally. All right. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.